What is that smell? Raw sewage. I slipped. I need mom. What you need is a hose. Yeah, you really stink. Uh, I love you guys, too. Come here and hug your Uncle Swamp Thing. Come on! Come on. What is that stench? Mom, I just skidded through something bubbly and green, and I swear it was angry. <laughs> what happened with Mr. Brookstone last oh, night? Honey, it's not gonna work out. Why? Where to begin? Well, first off, this has got to be the world's cheapest human being. <laughs> so he's a little thrifty? That's his crime? It actually made me lie about my age so we could get the senior discount at the Sizzler. <laughs> no. I should have known it was coming when he uh, paid for our water park tickets with wiki wiki dollars from the Chevron station. Hey, there's nothing wrong with being smart with a buck in today's economy. And then when he wasn't beating those thieves at their own game, he was going on endlessly about Chicago and news and cigars and dead people. He's got some great stories to tell and you mock him. Very nice. But the thing, the thing I just couldn't get past is... What? What? He eats loud. He eats loud? I'm ripening because he eats loud? It's such an annoying habit. When he chewed taquitos, it was like the world was ending. Did you tell him about all this? Oh, not in so many words. I, I kept hoping he'd sort of sense that it wasn't a great day. Oh, I can guarantee that he sensed it, which is why I was almost swept out to sea with thousands of dead goldfish. <laughs> Matthew, may I be the voice of reason here? That's what I'm being. No, you're being a selfish little creep. Oh, okay, so I wear many hats. <laughs> Look, honey, I know this was good for you career-wise, but it, it's just not happening, scoop-wise. <laughs> But just don't leave him hanging, okay? Because when he finally hits the deck, he's going to land on me. He does have a point, Mom. Okay, fine. I'll call him up tomorrow and make sure that nobody gets hurt. That's all I ask. Good, because that's all you're getting. <laughs> oh, it sure was sweet while it lasted, though. Sweet? You're going to need a plunger to take off your pants. <laughs> you're right. This is nuts. Matt, some advice? I've read your stories. You have plenty of skills of your own. You don't need moms. <laughs> I know. I just want things to get back to the way they were before... before... before whatever the heck that was. <laughs> World Black Belt Champion. It's a discipline. I could shatter that desk, but no, you see, true inner power comes from simply knowing I can. So... You judge your strength by the number of things you don't break. Let me demonstrate. Okay. Hold this pencil. <laughs> Have a nice day. Morning, guys. Ah, late again. Nice. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. That I'm trying to run a paper here. Where's, where's my sewage piece? Uh, yes, sir. I'm almost done. And then might I have a shot at the City Hall scandal? <laughs> now you're trying to steal from Walter. <laughs> I believe he dug up that story. You won't be disappointed, sir. Of course I will, but try your best anyway. <laughs> you know, being on top's not as much fun as I thought it'd be. Yeah, well, don't get used to it, because it's not going to last. That's the spirit, baby. <laughs> I mean, everything's going to return to dead, normal, neutral. That's all I want. The roller coaster ride is over. How can you be so sure? Just trust me. Matt, your, your mom just called. She wants to get together tonight. Really? How'd she sound? Great. Well, I guess I was wrong. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, why don't you run with the City Hall scandal? You're good. <laughs> but you said it was mine. That's the great thing about news. It's always changing. <laughs> Bye, Laura. <laughs> the only one who got off the roller coaster was me. I just plunged to my death. I'd write my own obit, but you'd probably beat me out of that story, too. You know, he's going to be fine. We're all going to be fine because my mom's giving Brookstone the boot tonight. And you're happy about it? Oh, you bet. I don't need this. I, look, I don't want to succeed because my mother is cuddly. I want Walter's friendship, not his assignments. I want Mr. Brookstone's respect, not a noogie from Scoop. <laughs> So am I the only one who sees the problem here? Oh, I know what you're gonna say. He's gonna be angry, but that'll go away. Well, not until you do. 
Huh? <laughs> Every time he sees you, the living, breathing embodiment of his failure, it will all come back. The pain, the anger, the humiliation, and then he'll unload. You mean he's, he's going to fire me? Maybe, if you ask him nicely. <laughs> you really think that's the way it's going to go? Well, if your mom dumps him, I can guarantee it. Hey, Matt, Matt, cover for me, will you? I want to go get a trim and a shine for tonight's festivities. Uh, sir, maybe you shouldn't have your heart set on festive. <laughs> you, you know something, don't you? Was it, was it something your mother said? Well, uh, she did say one thing. She, uh... She's falling for you hard, Scoop Man. Yeah, well, I like her, too. <laughs> I mean, in fact, the whole family could not be more thrilled. She's really come a long way. A long way from where? Well, I know I can trust you with this, and this won't leave this room. <sighs> a few years ago, Mom had an incident with another gentleman friend that involved... an umbrella. <laughs> and she had to go somewhere peaceful for a while. You mean, like the fruit ranch? Hey, this is my mother we're talking about. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Go on, go on. Anyway, after some rest and some relaxation, some therapy, she was home within a year. She's a very strong woman. This time, a little too strong. Your, your mom, my, my Grace. Oh, that's all in the past. Don't worry about it. Uh, except... Except what? Well, from time to time, she has these spells. What kind of spells? Oh, they're never alike. Try to understand that this is a painful family secret, and we don't talk about this even with each other. But each of us, in our own little way, <laughs> learn to see them coming. And if we can distract her, well, these flare-ups are less severe. Distract her? How? Well, uh, Vanessa will talk about how hard law school is. The kids will fight each other. <laughs> I try desperately to, uh, feed her. But if she starts fiddling with her hair, well, we, oh, you know what? Forget it. You guys have a blast tonight. I, I, I find all of this very hard to believe. Oh, you're right. It's just a story. Uh. <laughs> no, I will not go back to denial. I will not go back to denial. It's okay. It's okay. You sure? Sure, sure. But, uh, would it, would it hurt you if I told you that, well, somewhere down the road, I, I couldn't see your mom anymore? Why? What's wrong? <laughs> well, no, I mean, you know, if somewhere down the road, would you... Would you hate me? After letting me share this pain with you, and hate you, I love you, Scoop. <laughs> Is this the line for the roller coaster? You're a weenie boy. No way I'm gonna lose to a girl. <clears throat> More than once. <laughs> this is a great idea, Uncle Matt. Come on, let's go again. That's the spirit, Lucas. Keep on fighting. <laughs> so, I see you got the phone message from your law school. Oh, yeah. You sure my professor said to read all 50 cases? Oh, yeah, he was real specific about that. The threats were more general. This is nuts. And who could blame you for complaining? He gives you all this work and you pay his salary. Plus, they even want to raise my tuition. Sure, get rich off the students, you shysters. There you go, let it out, let it out. <laughs> Good luck tonight, Mom. Cheap guys who eat loud, who needs them? <laughs> Easy for you to say, but you're not the one who's going to give Scoop the old heave-ho. Oh, I just hope he doesn't think I'm some crazy old woman. Well, if he does, that's his problem. Well, I thought I'd take him for a walk and, and try the gentle approach. That's a good idea. Although I heard it might rain. Oh, in that case, I better get my umbrella. Yeah, you'll want that. <laughs> hey, that is one nasty tangle in the back of your hair there. My hair? Huh. Uh. Hi, Scoop. Hi, Matt. Is, is everything okay? Uh, hi, Scoop. <laughs> is that the umbrella? Oh, I've had this thing for years. Oh, boy, if this puppy could talk. <laughs> You. Will you two take it somewhere else? I'm up to my ears and sticking law books here. <laughs> Hi, Scoop. What's going on here? 
Oh, just the usual. <laughs> Come on, Scoop. Uh, let's take a walk. A walk? Well, yeah, a walk would be nice, but uh, tell you, Grace, it's, uh, I mean, uh, you're such a great lady, and uh, you, you, you deserve so many things, and, uh, and me, well, I'm, uh, well, I'm just an old workaholic, and uh, we both know how that song goes. <laughs> and then, oh, I'll get over it. <laughs> Good luck to you, Grace. Bye. I was going to blow him off because he eats loud? Phew. This guy belongs in a fruit ranch. <laughs> Time for studs. <laughs> sure acted nervous, don't you think? Look, the man's obviously going through some personal stuff. <laughs> Actually, not so much nervous as... afraid. <laughs> you did something, didn't you? <laughs> Me? I know you did. Hey, you know, the rest of those law books aren't going to read themselves. Matthew? What did you tell that man about our mother? <laughs> Home Free continues right after this. Walter, in my office, now. <laughs> Mac, I'm, uh... I'm sorry about leaving so abruptly last night, but it seemed like a family matter. Oh, it was. Thanks for sensing that. Yeah, well, I, I feel for you, son. And if you ever need a favor, just ask. Oh, you bet I will. Mm -hmm. Mr. Brookstone. <laughs> <laughs> Cover me for a while, will you? Sure. Where are you headed? Dental college. And don't laugh. Some of these kids are darn near competent. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to pick up my permanent plate. You know, it's funny, but inside your head, a temporary sounds so loud. <laughs> But I don't think anyone heard it. 